Hey guys, welcome to That Pedal Show. Dan here. Mick here, hello. Today, Mick, we're talking about chorus pedals. Aha! Aha ha. Chorus pedals seem to have gone out of fashion somewhat of late, Mick. Really? Yes, <laughs> I know. I first heard about it when I was doing Stephen Wilson's board. And he says to me, oh, I hate chorus pedals. Oh, okay. And then since then... We really, we really have got to get the, uh, the name drop gone. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Wilson. Ding! Yeah. Not, not, yeah, not quite a ding. What about this piece of aluminium? This might work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ah. Uh, the name drop aluminium box. Ah, uh, heavens. Uh, so, there goes about 2.7k. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, um, so you were um, round your mate Stephen Wilson's house eating, out, eating you know, caviar yeah, sandwiches. Yeah, just doing what we do, you know. <laughs> and he says, he says, I'm not a fan of chorus pedals. I'm not a fan of chorus in any way. And I thought that was really interesting. And, hmm. you know, since then, and this is a couple of years ago, um, but I've noticed a lot of people have gone, yeah, of course, not so much. Well, I think it was on everything, wasn't it? It was on everything. In the 80s, it was on everything. Yeah. All those overprocessed guitar sounds. Well, you know, they say overprocessed, some great guitar sounds. Amazing. Think about Crowded House, think about a lot of those really brilliant 80s guitar sounds yeah. full of chorus. Let's have a look at, first of all, what chorus is. All right. So, what happens with a chorus pedal? Your signal goes in, the signal is split. This one of the split signals stays pure, and the other signal is delayed. Yep. All right. So uh, you know between you know ten milliseconds or around that area, and then it's modulated. The time is modulated. So if the center is ten, it might go so ten to fifteen milliseconds. So have you ever taken a delay pedal? and put it on repeats and then grab the time and then sped it up. So it's like a spaceship. Hmm. When you speed up the time, right, it's a shorter delay time and the pitch rises. Yep. When you slow down the time, it lengthens it, therefore the pitch goes down. And that's what's happening with the chorus pedal, all right? right? What's happening is it's modulating that time. So we have I've got three chorus pedals and I've also got a flanger on here, which we'll get into a bit as well. But anyway, so we've got two amplifiers, we've got the JTM45 and the two rock, sounds like this. That's pretty lush, isn't it? Not much on that. Okay, so we're going to first look at the CE2. You know that sound. As soon as you hear it, you know that, don't you? That wasn't one of those though, was it? It was, but it's, it's a chorusy thing. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so Actually. It was a small stone, wasn't it? A small clone. But it was, it was the EH chorus. So Dan lent me that for a recent gig. I needed chorus on a gig and it brought back fantastic memories. All right, that's a Keeley modded one, which lowers the noise floor and does a couple of other little tiny mods. But mm -hmm. in, in essence, the CE2 was always a brilliant sounding chorus. <laughs> and it is, you, you've heard it on a million records. You have. And I, one of the reasons I really love it is because it just seems to give you a little um, kick in some frequencies that are really key for electric guitar. Mm. Whereas other choruses I've had, like dual choruses and maybe some of the more modern ones, just sound too shimmery. Okay. But that sounds fat as anything, I yeah. think. It's very fat. Yeah. Very fat sounding. And you can, I mean, this is quite a. <laughs> There's a lot of, of effect on that. Yeah. But if I just turn down the rate, the depth.
It's a real thickening sound, isn't it? It really is. It's uh, amazing. Yeah. Love it. Okay, so we have now the CE2 is the one that lots, lots of guys will know. Yeah, really common, and, and all the, the, um, the boss chorus pedals, you know, have got a similar sound, but the CE2 is, the, is mm. the one. The precursor to that is, you know, boss's first. A foray into compact effects pedals <laughs> <laughs> is the chorus ensemble, and for my money, this is the C two. This is the C one. Mains power, so we've got a whole load oh, of it's power. Yeah, it's one knob, it's just the chorus intensity. These two knobs are for, are for the vibrato, which is basically the chorus effect without the yeah, through the dry signal. Yeah, but that's just I'll see one, one knob. Now you get this, <laughs> no, you know, but that's the ah, uh, so. The CE2 is very thick. CE1. Now, originally, the CE1 with the chorus ensemble was not made for guitars. Uh -huh. It was made for keyboards. Okay. Okay, I've had a few guys say, hey, I've got one of those and mine sounds nothing like yours. So the reason being, it was made for keyboards and the input um, knob was basically a 50k pot. It was meant to receive a buffered output. Yep. But if you plug your guitar into it, that 50k takes off all the, yep. the top end. Yep. So if you've got an old chorus ensemble, little tip for you, take out the 50k pot, put in a 500k pot, yep. then all of a sudden you're in a very, very happy place. Can I just hear the vibrato? You can. Does it work? It does. Wonderful, it's so wonderful. It's ridiculously huge and it's mains power and it's a pain in the neck. But oh gee, it sounds great. It really does. A lot of pedal board real estate, as they say. It, it, absolutely. <laughs> so, you know, the the Roland JC120 basically has that circuit yep. in it. So that's the chorus sound from that amplifier. Actually, one question before yes. we go go on. So the C2 has, because you get multi-voiced choruses, don't you? you do. So like the C5 yep. has more, more um, those lines. Yeah, yep, that's more right. of those lines that yep. we talked about at the beginning. That's Therefore, right. you get uh, a kind of a, it's not a deeper effect as such, but it's a, a more intricate effect because you've that's got right. much more of it happening. That's right, and that brings us actually neatly onto the flanger pedal. Right, right. So. The only difference really between a chorus pedal and a flanger pedal is the delay time mainly, the delay time shorter in a, in a flanger pedal. The flanger also feeds back part of the sound into itself so you get this, this feedback control mm. and that's what gives you that sort of jet airplane sound. The unaffected sound is much less noticeable in a flanger, isn't it? You, it sounds like the whole thing is affected with a flanger. Well, Yes, so it's so those those little notch comb filters are, are a lot more because the delay time is so much shorter. Yeah. Um, and but what is also happening is that sweep that happens. It's not it's not it's not modulating the entire frequency. It modulates part of the frequency and then the sweep goes down. Yeah. Uh, so 
what happens is you get this you know, C2, then if we have a listen to the Electric Mistress, okay, it's a lot, it's not as fat, all right, but that sound, as opposed to, Now, a uh, massive fan of Andy Summers. Yep. Really? Um, yep. Uh, yeah. You wouldn't know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Actually, it wasn't exactly a <laughs> name, was it? It wasn't. No, <laughs> I have interviewed Andy before. Oh, no, but, you I know. know. So, um, but I always thought that the chorus ensemble was his thing. But in fact, no. Um, Pete Cornish, ding. Boom. Uh, he kindly sent me an email. And said, actually, no. Not really a name drop if you only Not get an really. email, I don't think. No, okay, fair enough. You have to be round his house having caviar sandwiches. Okay, all right. So, uh, Pete Cornish put me right. Yeah. You know, this is 10 years ago. But his, that chorus sound, the anti chorus sound, is, is in fact the electric mistress flanger. Right. So, when you hear. It's a lay on. Just, just play it with the chorus a minute. That, that sounds closer to me, but... Well, if you, if, for me, it was always the boss chorus on something that's happening. But when you hear... How he does that. Great sounds. It's a great sound. So the reason we've got the flanger on there is that they are very similar. Yeah. You know, shorter delay time and it's it's doing more than just modulating that delay time. So there's a, there's you know And just so sweet. I understand that, so the chorus is modulating the whole signal. Exactly. The flanger is taking a particular part of the it well it's sweeping through the frequency spectrum yes. to decide the bit that it modulates. Yes. Got it. There you go. There you got go. It. So now we've got the uh, looking at the coral reef here. This is by um, VFE pedals, and it's kind of it's a mixture between the two. Right. You know, sort of half chorus, half flanger. Um. It's lovely. It is. This it's got a little feedback control on it. So is it is it elect electronically a mix between the two? It's got chorus and flange in it, or yeah, you've got uh, it has the same. You can basically dial in a chorus or dial in right. know, a flanger. I mean, electronically, really, I guess it's a chorus pedal. Yeah. But it has the elements of the, that feedback control. Right. It, it helps that flanger sound. It's such a great sound. I think because it was used so much, as soon as we hear it, we, you know, there are sounds that we just instantly associate with it. Well, you, you play a sus chord or a nine chord and it, it just instantly. And of course it was misused. Terribly, wasn't it? It was indeed. It was, you know, you'd be there playing your blues solo, and uh, if you're me, for example, and you've got about nine licks, and you play the same nine licks in every solo that you play, you okay. know, at some point, somebody in the band's going to turn around and just go, can it at least sound different? And you go, okay, I'll step on my chorus pedal. <laughs> well, okay. And then they start chucking things at you. So let's have a look at the CE2. Because you've got control over the rate and depth, one thing that the CE2 can do is not a bad Leslie type thing. Yeah, okay? I've, I've used it for that exact thing. Right, so what I want to do is I want to speed it up. Yeah. a bit of El Grunge. That's a good sound. That is a great sound. 
I love that because again, back to back to your dodgy blues gig there, where you just need to sound a bit different. Let's hear that without the chorus on. With the chorus. So, it's not bad. Love it's, that! Yeah, yeah. Love if you did this. <laughs> Okay. Sounds completely terrible. <laughs> but it kind of, I mean, I don't know. What would happen if you play chords doing that? Good luck. Man, that would be bad. Take it off. Yes! There we go, we're at the seaside. Do you want the, do you want the El Granjo? Uh, yeah. So chorus pills, they sound great. <laughs> you know what we were saying earlier about miss... miss yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So, because someone thought that was a good idea. Yeah. Put it on an album. I have actually used that sound before. You know. You sparingly. You, you're into the 19th chorus of Blues in G. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, anyway. Okay, good. So it's not quite a Leslie. It doesn't because a Leslie is a phaser-based yeah. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it, you know, set it at extremes. It's it's got a thing. I liked it. You know. So did I. I thought yeah. it was amazing. <laughs> okay, uh sorry for that little <laughs> excursion there. But seeing as we seeing as we turned on the the overdrive, let's talk about overdrive and how that works and okay. all the rest of it. So where do you put the chorus pedals in relation to your overdrive? What we're gonna hear is the overdrive first, guitar going into the overdrive, and then the overdrive going into the chorus. Yep. Okay, so. Great. Let's try that with the flanger. Lovely. Okay, what we're going to do now, we're going to go to a different bank. We're going to hear the chorus going into the overdrive. Right. Okay, so there's your chorus. Overdrive. What's happening there is as it modulates and as the sound modulates, there's that's being pushed into the overdrive, and that's is overdriving as opposed to yes, yeah, so it's pushing different parts of the overdrive. Exactly, yeah, yeah, there's yeah, different yeah, frequencies. Yeah, yeah. So it's a different it's a different sound. Cool sound. So yeah. if we do it with the flanger, just so you can hear it. Yeah, it's nowhere near as clear, is it? No, you don't, you don't no. hear all the notes. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. There, there we, we go. Are. A brief foray into chorus pedals. Can I try the uh, chorus ensemble, please? No. Because uh, I quite I think I'm going to like this. You know, that kind of... Um...
As lovely as this is, I think it suits that guitar. Yeah. Doesn't it? Definitely. So. Was that just that? That's just the chorus ensemble. That chorus ensemble yeah. with a little bit of delay on the end. Yeah, yeah. Does sound very cool. Brilliant. There, there we, we go. go. <laughs> chorus. Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that, guys. Uh, you know, a little brief for a, a little adventure in a chorus. <laughs> it's a wonderful thing. Embrace it. Let's, let's bring it back. Yes! yes. Campaign! <laughs> um, it, it, wouldn't it be really cool to start hearing some chorus pedals again on, on yeah. the radio? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so in, 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 uh, in like some months, we'll, um, we'll do this again, but with a bunch of other chorus pedals that manufacturers have released since this video. Fantastic. <laughs> oh, yeah, brilliant. Excellent, guys. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, we will see you next Friday. Cheers, guys. Bye. <laughs>